so far in this course we have learned that what is an electric charge how bodies get charged and two important aspects of charges that like charges repel for example if both are positive charges then they will repel each other and even if both are negative charges then also they are like charges so they will repel each other and second thing that unlike charges attract if one charge is positive and another one is negative then they will attract each other these things were just only the qualitative things we talked about only the direction of force whether it will be attractive or repulsive but we didn't have any idea about the how much it is how much is the force what is the quantity of the force how much is the quantity of the force this aspect is called as quantitative aspect charles augustin de coulomb a french physicist for the first time gave the quantitative statement for coulomb for electrostatic force and we call that as coulomb's law coulomb's law the statements of uh, charles augustin de coulomb regarding the quantitative aspect are called as coulomb's law what are these statements these statements uh, uh, tell about the force between two point charges separated by some distance placed in vacuum so in i have two charges q1 and q2 they are placed at some distance r and the statement for coulomb's law is that for these two charges the force between force between two point charges remember that coulomb's law is for point charges and in the previous video you have seen that when we call charge bodies at as point charges so force between two point charges according to coulomb's law varies inversely varies inversely as the square of the distance between the two charges that is the force uh, if say if the force is f then the force is proportional to the inverse of the square of the distance between the charges distance is r distance between the two charges is r and force is varying as the square of the inverse and second thing is this force is proportional to the magnitude of the product of charges or exactly in the terms of coulomb's law uh, the statement given by coulomb it was the product of the magnitude of charges these two state things look very similar and they are actually that uh, the product of magnitudes of the charges that is these are the two magnitudes magnitude of q1 magnitude of q2 their product is same as the product is the magnitude of the product of two charges so this is one and the same thing you can write this or this both are same uh, mathematically equal so f is proportional to 1 upon r square and f is proportional to modulus of q1 and q2 the third sentence in coulomb's law is regarding the direction of force that is the direction is uh, or the force between the two charges acts along the line joining two charges 
लाइन जॉइनिंग द टू चार्जेस दीज आर द टू चार्जेस क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू एंड दिस इज द लाइन जॉइनिंग द टू चार्जेस सो वट एवर विल बी द फोर्स बिटवीन क्यू एंड क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू इट विल एक्ट अलॉन्ग दिस लाइन एंड मैग्नीट्यूड इज मैग्नीट्यूड वेरीज एज द फर्स्ट टू स्टेटमेंट्स नाउ इफ वी कम्बाइन द टू प्रपोर्शनैलिटीज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टू स्टेटमेंट्स दैन इट विल बिकम फोर्स इज प्रपोर्शनल टू मॉडलस ऑफ क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू डिवाइडेड बाय आर स्क्वेयर एंड इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन टू एन इक्वेलिटी दैन आई विल इंट्रोड्यूज ए proportionality constant k then f is equal to k times modulus of q1 and q2 divided by r square so this is the equation for coulomb's law which give which gives force magnitude of force between two point charges separated by a distance r placed in vacuum k here is a proportionality constant whose value in si units in si units k is equal to 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 and what can be its si units from this equation of coulomb's law you can easily find out what are the units for k uh, taking the quantities other than k to one side and k on another side then you can easily figure out that the units for k are newton meter square coulomb minus 2 where coulomb is the unit for electric charge so this is the value for k one more thing this equation coulomb's law is generally uh, more often written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not modulus of q1 and q2 divided by r square here we have used k as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not there is no physical derivation or any physical logic behind this writing k as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not it is just for mathematical convenience later on in this course you will see that using k as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not simplifies calculations and uh, some formulas and laws so we can write k as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not where epsilon not in si units epsilon not is also another constant like k in si units the value of epsilon not is 8.854 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 and now can you tell what are the units for epsilon not 4 pi is a dimensionless thing and rest of other things are same in this equation just uh, earlier the constant was in numerator now the constant is in denominator so from intuition you can tell or sim it is very simple that you can tell if the constant has come into numerator then its units will be simply inverse of the units of k so the units for uh, epsilon not will be coulomb square meter minus 2 newton minus 1 so epsilon not has the unit coulomb square meter minus 2 newton minus 1 you can write them uh, newton minus 1 before the meter minus 2 uh, anything you can write and epsilon not we have given epsilon not a name and it is a constant its name is permittivity of free space free space in fancy terms otherwise it is simply vacuum in vacuum the value for epsilon not which is permittivity is 8.854 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 uh, you don't have to remember these values but it is uh, it will be beneficial if you remember them otherwise uh, these values will be provided in exams now so we have two different forms of coulomb's law first is 
एफ इज इक्वल टू के मॉडलस ऑफ क्यू वन एंड क्यू टू डिवाइडेड बाई आर स्क्वायर एंड अनदर वन इन विच के इज रिप्लेस्ड विद वन अपॉन फोर पाई एपसाइल एंड नॉट दिस वॉज अबाउट द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स बिटवीन टू पॉइंट चार्जेस बट वट अबाउट द डायरेक्शन कुलम्स लॉ गिव गिव्स अस दैट फोर्स एक्ट्स अलॉन्ग द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग टू चार्जेस इफ दीज आर द टू चार्जेस दिस इज द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग दैम दैन द फोर्स विल एक्ट अलॉन्ग दिस लाइन बट टू नो द एग्जैक्ट डायरेक्शन वी विल यूज द फैक्ट दैट लाइक चार्जेस रिपेल एंड अनलाइक चार्जेस अट्रैक्ट सो इफ क्यू वन इज पॉजिटिव क्यू टू इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव दैन दीज आर लाइक चार्जेस सो दे विल रिपेल सो फोर्स ऑन क्यू वन ड्यू टू क्यू टू विल बी अवे फ्रॉम क्यू टू क्यू टू इज रिपेलिंग क्यू वन सो द फोर्स विल बी अवे फ्रॉम क्यू टू एंड इन द सेम वे फोर्स ऑन क्यू टू ड्यू ड्यू टू क्यू वन विल बी अवे फ्रॉम क्यू वन बिकॉज क्यू वन इज रिपेलिंग क्यू वन बोथ आर रिपेलिंग ईच अदर सो फोर्सेज आर आउटवर्ड्स अवे फ्रॉम द अदर चार्ज एंड द सेम विल बी फॉर इफ बोथ द चार्जेज आर नेगेटिव इफ बोथ द चार्जेज आर नेगेटिव दैन ऑल्सो द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेज विल बी सेम बट इफ वन चार्ज इज पॉजिटिव एंड द टू सेकेंड चार्ज इज नेगेटिव दैन इन दिस केस दिस इज स्टिल ट्रू दैट फोर्स विल बी अलॉन्ग दिस लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द टू चार्जेज बट एज द चार्जेज आर ऑफ डिफरेंट पोलैरिटी द फोर्सेज विल बी attractive so force on q1 will be towards q2 as q2 is attracting q1 and force on q2 will be towards q1 as q1 is attracting q2 so using the these any of these two equations you can find the magnitude and using this uh, this logic you can give the direction of the force so this was about the coulomb's law in the next Uh, video we will take some examples on coulomb's law numerical examples and how to solve numerical problems on coulomb's law